Hello developers. Today we are going to build your own snakes and ladder game. By the end of this video, you will have a working game engine that you can customize and use in your project. Snakes and Ladders is an old Indian board game that is now considered a classic around the world. This is a simple and easy to play game that you can play alone or with other people. It is completely free to play and open source. You will also build a similar solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. So what is a candy kit? Candy one-click install kits gives you a ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on AI, augmented reality, gaming, blockchain, and many more on candy. Today, we'll be using a popular candy kit on snakes and ladder game one-click install kit. This kit is open source with a permissive license, which means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. So let's get started. Over to you, Pooja, for the hands-on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are excited to build your own snakes and ladder game. To build this popular game, you would require the following. First of all, you would require a SAS loader that will help you load the web pack for compiling the SCSS and SAS files. Secondly, you would require Lodash, which is a modern JavaScript utility library, which will help deliver modularity and performance. Also, you would require some more essential libraries to build this game. Everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application into your system. With all the needed prerequisites and resources, you can download the installer here and you can set up by checking the instructions here. Now you can pause this video, complete the installation. Once ready, hit resume and we will jump right back into building our own snakes and ladder application. Great. Hope you all are set. If you have successfully set up, you will see this page. So you can choose whether you want to play a two player, three player or a four player game. So let's start with a two player game and let's choose the first player as computer and start our game. Okay. So first is our computer. So computer automatically plays and goes to this place. Okay. So likewise, you can play the game and let's now try and understand how we can get into the source code and build this game. So within the source folder of our kit, as you would see, we will have the asset folder, the styles and the types. So within the assets, we have animations. And the animation for the dice is present here, which is created using these six SVG files. Also, the icons for restart, close, you know, etc. are created here. The ladder image, the snake image, and the different tokens uh, for the players, as in your blue, your green, red, and yellow, are. Uh, the files are present here. Then we have the styles in the .scss format where you have files for uh, your player count, for the winning screen, for the credit screen, etc. Where all this listing is done. Basically, the design and the styling part, the uh, placement of the different objects and the styling is present in the styles folder and then we have your uh, types where we simply have these type uh, files in the typescript format so let's get into the details of this so in the different types we saw that gif png and svg files are rendered here and align token basically helps with the alignment of the player placement of the players on the board their positioning, etc. 
so this ask player count dot ts basically is about the number of players based on the input are listed and accordingly the player count is maintained then change turn helps in switching the player or the chance that a particular player has switching from that player to another player constant basically list all the important uh, say the game start text show time duration the snakes and ladder count how many are the snakes and ladders and maximum player length also defined in the constants.ts file so this create snakes and ladders template is a test template so that the main snakes and ladders template uh, when created which has the listing for the range from where this game will say there is a start range which is 0 which gets incremented and there is an end range up till 99 so all the board the entire template the snake and ladder board template is defined in create snakes and ladders the current game status basically has the uh, state in which the players are playing right the current game's state what uh, is the current state for say the zero uh, player zero player one player two player three respectively where they are placed and also uh, then you are capable of changing or basically i would say based on this get token size you are able to see the width etc for the particular player token uh with this get token transition speed the speed is defined and then you have the index dot ts so here we are importing all the ask player account start game init game all these essential files so this render tokens dot ts basically has the uh, specific player tokens right that we are using to represent a particular player roll dice has the uh, image background image etc right the dice face 1 dice face 2 all this uh, based on the svg files that we had seen in the types uh, style files asset folder basically right so then the, we have your winning screen you have your task uh, start game dot ts all that is also available so let's now try and understand how we can customize this snakes and ladder game by increasing the player count in the game by modifying the following files say the current game status dot ts we can increase the player count here so let's write an extra uh you know player here we would simply say player 4 save it then after this we will go into the types.ts in the types dot ts we will add a color token color say we will add black here and for this black we will give the code as okay after we have also modified and added this color next is and within this file itself we will also add the player to update the token position to move the user token so that i will add ordinates right Save this. 
and after adding this we will also add at line 36 the entry for our layer so So basically the different coordinates and the directions we want to fix. The interface uh, for player 4, right? After this, we go to the render tokens dot test dot ts. Here in the render tokens test dot ts, we add an additional entry for our new extra color of the token right for our new player okay and we want this to be black okay fine save this as well after we are done um, by adding this extra color of the token for test cases, we will get into the get player alignment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get player alignment data.ts. In this file, uh, we will now need to update the return statement to increase the value. So we will add the extra. Clear. Here. Layer five. Also add some alignment. Also, we want to get the icon for the new player, basically the token. We want to add uh, one token in the asset folder. So, let's go to this uh, assets folder in that just uh, copy. And paste in this with black. What is PG? And in this within the circle, you change the fill to zero zero for the color black, right? And after you do this, you are, uh, you know, all you all can also change. Uh, programmatically, you have changed, but we can also change the SCSS file also to reflect the changes in UI. Ask player count screen dot. SCSS here, you can simply add the entry for this new player. So, yeah, here we will increase this from 3 to 4 because 0, 1, 2, 3 and for the fifth player, we are using this 4 number, right? Fifth player, we will save this and then we will say terminal, no terminal. start I'll wait for it to load compile
so we can see all the five players now added to our game so you can now use this solution and customize it change the background etc as per your liking hope you enjoyed this session on snakes and ladders thank you hope you found the session useful you can find the link to the nft slayers fighting game kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description head over to candy to build incredible projects on ai blockchain augmented reality and many more try out the candy kits now hit subscribe and join us at the open weaver community of developers and learn to build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session until the next one bye bye